Hello and welcome to an unboxing with Gary at Cool Smartphone. Today we're going to be unboxing Honor's newest handset, the Honor 20. Um, this handset is now available for sale and we're going to be reviewing it over the course of the next week. So let's dive into the unboxing. So here we have the Honor 20. Um, this is the retail packaging. So there will be some differences in this packaging over what you would buy from the shop. Um, looks like it's the blue version, but sadly it is not, it's the black version. So we'll just take the phone off, put it to the side for a moment, come back to that. The rest of the packaging is fairly standard for what you would expect from any Honor device. You've got your SIM ejection tool. In here you would have uh, your information, uh, warranty and SAR leaflets and sometimes they do put cases in there as well you then got your three and a half mil to usb type c headphone jack as this does not have a headphone jack on the device your supercharged capable cable because uh, this uses uh, huawei's slash honors supercharge technology and then lastly a huawei supercharger um, obviously that's the European version as this is a European review device. So we'll just move all this off to the side and come back to the phone. So the phone itself comprises of a typical metal plastic glass slab as you would expect. However, what we're really interested in with this device is what's going on at the back with the cameras. Um, we'll come back to those in a moment. As to the other specs of the device, we have a dimensions of 154.3 mil length, 74 mil width, and 7.9 mil thickness, 174 grams. It's an IPS display. We'll just take that plastic off now and see if it's got any power in it. Being a review unit, it sometimes does. The display itself measures in at 6.26 inches with an 84.2 screen to body ratio and it supports 16 million colors. We're looking at a resolution of 1080 by 2340 with a 19 to 5.9 aspect ratio as well. The phone itself has a 128 gig memory, which we'll confirm by going in and having a look at settings. Sometimes they do give out different memory sizes. Yes, yeah, so this is the 128 gig phone and six gig of RAM. It's powered by the high high silicon Kirin 980 that we have seen on the P30 and P30 Pro series, which I'm actually recording this video on, and is running Android 9 currently. There is uh, ongoing discussions within Huawei and Honor about the visibility of upgrading this to Android Q. Nothing has been confirmed yet, but as soon as we hear something we will let you know. With regard to connectivity, we've got Wi-Fi, 802.11n, ABGNAC, Wi-Fi Direct, Hotspot capability, Bluetooth 5, and all your usual sensors such as GPS um, and uh, infrared port, etc. We have a Type-C USB connector at the bottom, which I've already mentioned. No 3.5mm headphone jack on this one. Your fingerprint sensor is mounted on the side here, and this also doubles your power on and off button. Volume up and down. Up the top you've got your microphone, and there is also the infrared emitter that I mentioned earlier. And you've got your single speaker at the base. There is also an earpiece speaker on this phone, unlike on the P30, where it relies on screen vibration. The eagle-eyed amongst you will have seen that there is no camera in the middle of 
the top of the display as they are using a hole punch style camera for the front cam. Now this is a 32 megapixel camera and if it's the same one being used on the P30 and P30 Pro series it does give pretty good results. Around the back that's where things get a bit more interesting as we have a four element camera array. So starting with the um, biggest we have a 48 megapixel camera which is actually a Sony sensor um, and this is capable of face detection autofocus and has an f over 1.8 aperture. We then have a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera with an f2.2 aperture, a 2 megapixel macro camera which has a 27 millimeter lens so it's capable of wide angle again and this is f over 2.4 and then finally in between the text here we have a 2 megapixel f2 f over 2.4 time of flight camera to allow you to get your depth sensor the camera is capable of video at 30 frames per second and also um, at 2160p and also 1080p at up to 60 frames per second and it is gyro and electronically stabilized so that is a very brief overview of the honor 20 now we're going to be using this for the next week or so and hopefully getting um, a opinion of the device as i said it is now available from the honor store i will put the price in the link for this video and uh, it will be reviewed on callsmartphone.com so if you like this sort of video and you want to find out more about this device or you're considering buying one then please subscribe to coolsmartphone.com here on YouTube and also check out our website at the address listed in the description. While you're there, also if you can give us a thumbs up and a subscription, that would be great. Thanks very much. See you on the next video.